Greetings everybody. Welcome back for another video on Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry, the Pen Bug Guy. Today's video is going to be a video of fountain pens that I love and a few that I like. Um, what I do is I will use a pen for one, two, maybe three fills and really write with the pen long enough for me to experience am I going to love it I like it or is it okay what category do I put my pens in now this is how I do it everybody has their own way but it has come to a point that I haven't used my pens enough because of the rotation process that I go through I want to use all the pens so they won't get neglected. But by doing that, my really p good pens and the pens I love get neglected because I don't use them often. And I want to use them often. I want to use them more. Why? It's because I love the way they feel. I love the way they write. I love the way the weight is. I love the way the nibs look, the way the, the bounce to the nibs, the way they can lay down the ink. I love wet nibs. Uh, those are just a few of the reasons how I choose the pens I love, like, and etc. There are some pens I don't care for. Real quick. I don't care for pens that uh, don't have clips. That's not the deal breaker for me. That doesn't mean I won't buy the pen. But for me to really buy a pen, it depends what's under the hood. How good is that nib when I mean under the hood? Is it going to write the way I want it to write? So that's a big factor. Uh, the... Uh, is it the Moon Pins or Moon View? Do you remember the name? Um, there's some pins that have been out. Uh, and I'm trying to find a name. Somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, has asked me about this pen. And I thought I'd share some comments on it. And it's... Uh, you know, not the Wing Song. Uh, it's a Chinese made pen. So, let me get that for you. That pen that I do not particularly care for, this is me, is the Moon Man Mini Pocket Pen. It's a little short, fat, clear pen, and they have a variety of different colors, transparent, and they have beautiful colors. And, uh, I believe that one had a fine nib. Well, it doesn't have a clip. And uh, I don't care for uh, eyedroppers much. Uh, I hardly ever use them. Only in one of my preppies is the only one I use for an eyedropper. And that's very seldom. And uh, it does take cartridges. Uh, I just didn't care for the pen. Uh, I think it, like I said, it had a fine nib. Uh, it wrote okay, but I just didn't feel it. I didn't like it. And uh, I know everybody's raving about the Moon Man, and that's cool because they like it, and that's great. I don't like it. No, not at all. So people yeah. have asked me for my honest opinion. I've gotten eight emails about it, and so I said I will reveal today my honest opinion on it. I don't like it. So, but just because I don't like it don't mean that somebody else doesn't like it or you may not like it. You may love it and that's great. I'm happy for you, but it's just not my thing. All right, done with that one. So, I want to talk about pens right now that I love. Love. First of all, uh, I got a pen 
a couple of three years ago. Beautiful, lovely dynamite to die for fountain pen. It's got everything I like on it. And the name of the pen is the Pelican M1000. Beautiful fountain pen. Um, it's got some ink in it, not much, but it's got, it weighs right now, the Pelican weighs in about 34.4, give or take, because of some of the ink. But this nib, if you can see that clear, beautiful nib, a nice, big, juicy, wet nib, and it just writes superb, extremely one of my finest fountain pens. And here's the deal with it. When I first got this pen, it was like, I really love it, like it, and la, 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 but I was having some problems with it. Baby bottom, I thought. So I didn't use, I haven't used the pen a whole lot. I don't know, what, three, four times maybe? I just let it sit in my pen drawer, and I paid a whole lot of bucks for this pen. And so I was thinking, I said, you know what, you spent all this money on this pen and you haven't used it because the way it writes. It was a big turnoff, big disappointment. But I still love the pen. And, you know, I would tell myself, you need to save this pen. So what I'd done was quit buying pens because I can't afford to buy pens and have repairs done. For me, I'm not even going to try to mess with this beautiful uh, 18K gold nib. I'm not going to do it. Uh, so, one of my viewers, Michelle, wasn't it? Was there an announcer, I think? Yeah, and I, I appreciate that. She told me about Mark Backus. He's a, a nib meister that will fix your pens. Dan Smith usually fixes my pens, but he's like swamped three months already into it, and so there's a waiting period. So I needed to get my pen fixed, and I said, you know what, I'm going to have it done. So I got a hold of Mark Backus, and, you know, I, I, I'm really scared to send my pens to anybody because I guess I just baby them a whole lot. And they're so expensive, might get lost or whatever. I sent it to Mark, and you know, first we emailed each other, and there was excellent communication between Mark and me. Um, he didn't hesitate to answer the questions I was asking over and over again. Uh, he will send you a detailed email on the cost of, and breakdown of the type of works that you're wanting, how much it's going to cost, and uh, how much for shipping. And if you want FedEx three-day shipping, tracking for signature, everything is in black and white, and he'll let you know what it's going to cost. Well, I think he's affordable. But this man took my beloved 1,000 Pelican, and he has done one hell of a job. Now the pen is perfect. Just perfecto. Now when I first got this pen, I was having that problem. I could have sent it back where I got it. But that was from the Netherlands, I believe. And I didn't want to have to send it back, wait till it gets there, then wait till they look at it and then fix whatever's wrong and send it back. That would take probably a few months, so I went ahead and let Mark do it, and I'm glad I did. So, you know, I will be sending some of my other valuable pens to Mark. So, Mark Backus, thank you so much. And his, uh, you can find him at nibgrinder.com, N-I-B-G-R-I-N-D-E-R.com. I thought I'd share it with everybody just in case you need some pin work done. Check out Mark Backus. Uh, I think you'll love him. 
I know I did. So here is the pen that I love. And how I do my pens, I have this notebook here. And I track everything. Uh, the name of the pen, the nib, uh, the ink, the date, the in uh, pen was inked up, the date clean, the wetness, and my comments. As you see, there's love, 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 there's good, good, and this one's still in use. Uh, there's a like, uh, for whatever reason, I put the reasons on a, another page and it's all detailed why and that's how I'm knowing what I pens I love and I don't love so here's one that I truly love magnificent fountain pen high dollar pen yes another of my pen that is inked up is my beloved Mont Blanc Sergeant Pepper with a 14k gold nib. It's got a oblique medium nib and I do like that variation that the obliques give. Uh, and I do love this pen. This pen made the love list as well. I like the weight. Uh, the weight of the pen was like I said 74 G's. It's a heavy pen and I like that in a pen. I like the, the detail work in this Mont Blanc. I like the color, the body material, the size, the style, uh, the nib. Beautiful black nib. That dark colored nib. Just a beautiful pen. But uh, the way it writes for me is... Well, it's love at first write. So that's another one, another high dollar pen. And another pen that made the love list was my Aurora Optima Flex. That's the new one that came out. Now, I had to write with this pen for a while because I, I, I liked it. I wasn't loving it because... To me, it was just a plain pen. It really, color just didn't grab me like I was hoping it would. I believe that, in my opinion, that the the uh, Aurora 88s last year that came out had more vibrant, bold, great-looking colors. But it is a nice pen. So I, I said, you know what? I'm going to have to write with this pen more to see if I can bond with it. I like everything about the pen, the material. I like the ink window, piston filler. Love the nib. And it is a flex nib. Beautiful nib. A beautiful writer. So now, the pen made my love list. Great, wonderful pen. And you can see the size difference. Another of my pens that I liked very much, but didn't fall in love with it because I really didn't use it like I should because of the rotation. So the rotation was keeping me from really loving this pen. It's a pen that we all know and most of us love is the Lamy 2000. I love the pen. And that's all there is to it. And this pen is uh, almost out of ink, but it's uh, like 26.2 G's is what it weighed in. Uh, you know, what do I like about it? Well, I like the clip. I like the way it feels, the material used to make the pen. I love that grip, that color. And I, I like the nib, the way it's shaped, and it just a really nice fountain pen. It's not flashy, and it doesn't need to be. But 
for some reason this caught my eye and it writes perfecto for me. I have no problems with it. No baby bottoms, no hard starts, no skips, no nothing. I think I've had this, what, about three years. And so now this is my third time to ink this pen up. So what does that tell you? I'm really loving the pen. So, what I'm going to do is just screw that on down lengthwise. Now, my next one is a pen that to die for. I love this pen. Totally, totally, truly love this pen. Um, and it has some ink in it, so right now it weighs 12.3 grams. The 92V, the ultimate supreme waterman. Beautiful pocket pen. Little pen, but it's fine when you post it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. This nib is to die for. This nib kicks butt. Excellent, superb nib. I wish Waterman would come back out and put these nibs back on their pens. I mean, this pen, this is my seventh or eighth time to ink this pen up. What does that tell you? So, I'm really happy about that. Okay. All gold nibs. So, is that all I like, just gold nibs? No, no, no. If you keep up my videos, you know I like steel nibs, low-end nibs. So, here's a pen. So, this made my love list. So, here's a pen that I I love. I love everything about it. And it weighs in right now at 32 G's. It's the Conklin All-American Lapis. Beautiful color. This is my favorite color, but just look at that beautiful blue going on in it. I love the body material in it. I love the clip, how it rockers back and forth so you can clip it on your shirt. I really like that clip. That is outstanding. Great job, Conklin. The whole pen is just, it's love. And this nib... But the smiley face, can you see that? Pretty decent. Steel nib, and I really, really like it. Great fountain pen. So I'll put this right over here with the steel nibs. As you can see, the little naughty TV is the baby of the family, but one powerful fountain pen. Another pen that I really do, this is like, not love, but like, is the Aurora Ypsilon. I do like the color. I like the shape of the pen, the material. I do like the clip. It's fine. I like that black and gold. It's made in Italy. Pull off cap. I like the nib. It's not a big nib. It's a small nib. And uh, it does what it needs to do. Writes, but it writes very well. And I do like this nib extremely. It does a great job. It does lay down the ink. So that's one I do like. Last but not least, on this haul, first round, it's what started me on the Mont Blanc 149. This pen weighs in at 48.9 G's. It's uninked. Here it is. The 159 Jin Hao, baby. Love the Jin Hao 159. Love it. So this made my love list. Yeah. This low-end fountain pen made my love list. Nice writer, wet, 
juicy. I can change out the number six nibs and use a variety of nibs to get, you know, different types of uh, writing. I can get a fine nib, extra fine, whatever number six I can find will fit this. And I use uh, certain nibs on them. But great fountain pen at a great affordable price. Newbies, if you like heavy big pins like this beautiful 159 it has weight remember that but it is just an extremely nice fountain pen uh, in fact this like I said this is what got me started in the Mont Blanc 149 what three years ago when I got into the fountain pen business and uh, I've never stopped loving these pens. And these, just a great fountain pen. So real quick, what I'm going to do, is do a, just a little bit of writing to show you how these pens write. Real quickly, it's not going to be the whole sentence. Here's the Pelican. Look at that. Woo! Now, can you understand where I'm coming from? That's love. Mont Blanc, Sergeant Pepper. Mercy. This is what I like on my nibs. Not all my pens are like this now, don't get me wrong. Here's my Lamy. Beautiful. Another beloved pen, Lamy. Rocks. And here is the Aurora. Optima Flex. <laughs> what did I tell you? This, this is me right here. I love the inks, the colors of them. Now here's this bad one, that bad little boy, the Waterman. Check this one out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, right? Beautiful pens. And last but not least, my Conklin. There's my Conklin All American Lapis. Well, there you have it. People have been asking, so I thought I'd share a few of my beloved and some of the pens I like and how I get to making those decisions on my pens. So, these first two, three, four, six pens will stay with me till they run out of ink and then the Lamy, the Aurora, the Waterman will get cleaned out and put to rest for a while because I've been using them for a very long time now. And i got to give them a break 
and put somebody else in here. I just put that Mont Blanc Sgt. Peppers in today and my wonderful Pelican. So glad to have it back. Mark Backus, if you're out there and you ever watch this review, thank you so much, sir. You done a dynamite job. You kicked it. So, that's going to take care of this video. I hope it answered a lot of your questions. The paper I used was Tomo River paper. My favorite paper of paper. My second favorite paper would be the uh, Life paper. And then, you know, I do use Rhodia and other papers from time to time. That's going to do it. And uh, some of my favorite ink, the Mont Blanc, Corn Poppy, Red, love it. The Monteverde, Olivine, Green, love it. KWZ, Hawaii Blue, I love it. Uh, those are just a few. All right, that's going to take care of it today. Hey, I've had a wonderful time. I've had fun. I've shared my love, my heart with you. And that's just the start of the game. So, I'm the pin bug guy. And thank you for your support. If you care to contribute to my channel, I use Patreon and PayPal. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care of yourself and please don't text and drive. Later.